Gang, let's talk about that middle class famous tour, baby, coming to a town near you. The hottest thing on the road right now. We've been zipping all over the country and we're coming to a town near you. Kippy, straighten them out. First of all, we got a second show out in Chicago. Sold yes, the first do. one out. At yes, we did. Zanies. Yep. Uh, still some tickets left for the late show. Then we're over there in Rosemont. Rosemont. Tickets are moving for that. So get them, goddamn get on that. Then we're also going to be in Pittsburgh, Buffalo, and Detroit. Get them. Now, before they're gone, yep. it's a stand-up show. We play AYG with the crowd. You've seen the clips. What are we doing? Come see us. Bring the homies. Bring the bozos. Bring the squad. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Uh huh. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find it out they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Or to just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. I had to lock her in her room well, yeah. when she saw this specimen coming down Tall the sidewalk. drink of water. I'm going to have to guy. shop back the bathroom out again. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman, and he is not to be <laughs> trifled with in the boardroom or the bedroom. Uh-huh. Give it up for KJ. Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking, baby. We've been saying that since about 300 subscribers, and they really are cooking now. That's the hustle. Uh, and then, obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com. Backslash Are You Garbage or slash Are You Garbage. Check it out. You get bonus content. Episodes of Hard Feelings, live streams, a whole nine yards. Check it out. Oh, yeah. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good. Give it up for T-Bone McScruff and Toby McMullen, everybody. <laughs> What's up, dudes? What's up, T-Bone? Nothing. We got the most intimidating man the, that we've ever had in the room. <laughs> this is going to be a good really? time. Really? Yeah. Really intimidating? Oh, what do you mean? You're like the ice man. What are you <laughs> talking really? about? God damn it. Is it the ears? I'm going to be peeing sitting You're down You're a little scarier than Tim Dillon, I got to say. Dude, we've never had vegetables in here. Now we got cauliflower here. Yeah, I'm so terrible. sorry, right, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to dial it back, man. Yeah, you could be wearing a dress. I'd still be scared of you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Because, gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest here with us today for the first time. Mm-hmm. He is a very funny, very successful stand-up comedian, podcaster, and former UFC fighter. You've seen him in, but not limited to Love and Sex, uh-huh. Ghost Adventures. We're going to get into that. Tell you that much. <laughs> Please do. Kill Tony, <laughs> Chelsea Lately, Mistbusters. That's a check mark right there. <laughs> Ancient Aliens. Uh, below the Belt, <laughs> Something's Burning, Watch What Happens Live, Tiger Belt. 30 for 30, Lights Out with David Spade, Ridiculousness, The Joe Rogan Show. He is, of course, the host of The Fighter and the Kid, mm-hmm. co-host, King and the Sting. He has a brand new special out right now called Gringo Poppy. But the big question in everybody's mind today is, could I take him? <laughs> <laughs> Get Jake Paul on the phone, couple milli. We'll find out. Do me a favor. Give it up for Brendan Schaub, everybody. Yay. Let's go. Look at you. Be What's money. up, fellas? Fucking man's this. man over I here. I told you, man. This, uh, out of all the shows that I have on the press tour, this is I was looking forward to this the most. Thank, Thank you, buddy. buddy. Yeah, it, it, dude, and you guys need to hear this. Everybody loves you guys, man. Uh, thanks, man. I'm telling you, from... Uh, from the big boys it, across the board, everybody loves you guys. Thank, thank you. Yeah. That means a lot. Thank you. Yeah. I talk to my girlfriend and my family. They disagree <laughs> with you. And I like how you said you're not intimidating. You walked in here and started drinking the props from the set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all, is that real skippy and yeah. just fucking, just a fucking. I'm doing keto. <laughs> yeah. I'm keto, man. Is that, that high C? Yeah. Just going? these random fucking things up here. Yeah, he really went for it. He's like, I'll do whiskey. I'm like, all right. Just took yeah, it off the show. You're looking around casing the joint. Like, you guys got any? Oh, there you go, right yeah. there. Oh, we yeah. did Jameson, too, I forgot about. Yeah, I don't know if I'm garbage, but I'm definitely an alcoholic. <laughs> I mean. I was Jones in to get your whiskey. He's, well, first of all, we didn't even ask him if he wanted to drink. We had a bottle of water out, and he goes, you guys just. Pound waters? Is that how you podcast? I'm like, I think there's some turpentine in the corner if you want to. You guys want to pull a little hair on your chest, huh? <laughs> what is. Also packing a lip, right? This guy's going yeah, after n- it. Nicotine, not tobacco, nicotine. Oh, okay. Road, yeah. Were you on the dip at one point, though? The real deal? Uh uh-uh. uh. Really? No, I never get the real deal. These are, I, I don't know if anybody dips in here, but as far as like nicotine goes, like the flavor on these, man, I like everything's intense. Coffee, like. I start my mornings with eight espresso shots. What I do. I do. I do. I go Jesus through a can Christ, of these. Dude. Yeah. 
Take yeah. a walk. Do some push-ups <laughs> yeah. or something, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking eat espresso. Yeah, and I, and I only eat red meat. Yeah. <laughs> really? I, yeah, I eat like a big cat at the zoo. Like if, if, a, <laughs> if a tiger doesn't eat it, I don't touch it, <laughs> fellas. So, yeah. I, so I'm going to have a heart attack in about four years. So Yeah, that's... You got to so tone enjoy, it down a little bit. Enjoy this. <laughs> Why, well, we got Enjoy them. the content. <laughs> I got four years to get good at stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting down with a liver king. Over uh, here. This, is, this guy's crazy. <laughs> what is the backstory? What's, what, what's, the, what's the origin you story? You said you're a Colorado kid. Denver kid. Uh, really, Aurora. Aurora, Colorado. Okay. Right. Yep. So, man, no one's ever asked me this. Uh, <laughs> Have you been podcasting for like 15 years? <laughs> L- literally, literally. It was me and no Mark. No one's ever asked me where I've been. <laughs> Never. Nobody asked me anything. It's Ever. I'm always doing my own shit. So you were a fighter. Who told you that? Yeah, I'm like, who the <laughs> fuck? Who the fuck gave you that info? It's, this guy acts like he hasn't been famous for a decade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this kid's on edge. I like it. <laughs> This guy's a real loose cannon, man. I think it's the espresso yeah. shots in the morning. Yeah, he starts like... choking out Tebow, and I'm going to let it go for a <laughs> yeah. couple of minutes. Just enjoy the show. Woo! Yeah, the espresso and the red meat's not helping. <laughs> <Yeah. It's>... uh, <laughs> Holy fuck. Get a Cobb salad dude, or something. You splash in CT. I forget where I'm from, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, fuck. They're going to ask me where hey, I'm from? You forgot he's been punched in the head 4,000 yeah. times. Yeah. So I got that working for me, so that's cool. Uh, oh, man, no, I was go, bo- you're yeah. really gonna go. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, born and raised in Aurora, Colorado. Mm-hmm. Aurora, especially especially now, but when I was growing up, uh, mainly predominantly black neighborhood. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was me and my older brother, uh, black uh, divorced parents. Okay. Uh, black neighborhood, so that's where comedy and uh, sports kicked in. Right. Because in order to be cool and fit in, I got made fun of and got bullied a lot. Uh huh. But um. I excelled at sports and was able to like break the ice with anybody. Yeah, so I'll make friends way. with anybody. Yeah. You put me in a room, I'll make a hundred friends. Cause I'm good at like breaking those Navigating barriers that, yeah. and like making fun of myself. So that's where the comedy and like all that came from. Were it's, you all, were you big as a kid or were you like no, a late I, bloomer? I was small, super late bloomer. Really? Never got in fights as a kid. Wasn't the tough kid. Huh. I, was, I was the silly class clown. Mm. And then uh, I was athletic though, but I was small. Okay. I was small, super late bloomer. And how so, did- this is, I don't mean to interrupt you. No, please. Yeah, please. This is uh, how serious the show's I yours, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't power bomb yeah. me and we're all right. Yeah. Someone take the whiskey, man. It's going to get weird in here. You yeah, say you want to start an OnlyFans? Until he suplex fully. Yeah. We're having a good time to CT flared <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody turned on the microwave and he freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh, baby, we got a hot one already, <laughs> yeah, boys. Super hot, bros. <laughs> yeah, so this is how serious I was about um, fitting in at school. So I knew I was more athletic than a lot of those kids. And at recess is where you were cool. So we always played on grass with a soccer football. And I had a gift just at sports. It was a, it was a curse, a blessing and a curse. But my way to be cool you know, they would make fun of me, but when recess came, mm-hmm. I would shine. And yeah. I knew that's how I'd get street cred. So uh, my mom, we didn't grow up rich. My mom, I uh, made her take me to pay less shoe stores. And I, I, I wore a, uh, the McGregor's at the time, cleats. Sure. They were the oh, mold McGregor's, cleats. Yeah. Dude, I wore them. At recess? Two, no, hold up. I wore them to school. So I'm walking through. Everyone's making fun of me. It's going clink, clink, clink. You're that's like, right. Wait till recess. That's why I went. All right, bitch. I'm about to flex all on bitch. all you. Blur. Yeah, I know it's 8 a.m. Wait till. Wait till. <laughs> all right. I, I look like an asshole in chemistry. We'll class. see what's up. Yeah. We'll see what's up. So re- recess came. No one had like good footing because it was like you know, so your your boy here. This guy's dude, crazy. I was Barry Sanders in fourth grade, dude. It might have been the cleats, but then the other dope thing my mom loved is because they're mold cleats and I'd wear them on black, you know, black top and all mm-hmm. over, is they wore out over time, so I didn't need new shoes. Ah, so she was like, go. oh, yeah, you just keep wearing those, and they turn into regular shoes. Like, Wait, so you wore run-down spikes or cleats as For two years, shoes? yeah, yeah, McGregor's, yeah, yeah. Man. But, dude, when, when I had traction. That's real single mom shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> when I had traction, though, we'll see who's laughing. <laughs> 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 Dude, and field day? Don't oh, even start. Jesus Dude. Christ. <laughs> fucking breaking ankles over Dude, here. That's fucking Michael Phelps of the field day, man. Dude, wearing cleats to school, that's a fucking new one right there. I do love the confidence. Like, just fucking, I'll take you. T- I'll take the beating right now. Just fucking yep. Light wait. Light me up, fellas. We'll see what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Walking around the lunchroom in full football gear. Yeah. Yeah. I got eye black on. <laughs> 
How well, did you dude, guys? It's third grade. Yeah, relax. <laughs> how did you guys end up in this neighborhood? Uh, Was your family from the area? Yeah, how'd you end up in Denver? Your parents were Yeah, there? my parents, uh, yeah, my, yeah, uh, no one, my dad was born in Denver. Okay. So he just stayed there. Mm -hmm. He okay. just stayed there, then he met my mom there, and then, you know, they got divorced when I was like six or seven. So then my mom moved into an apartment, and then my parents, which now, you know, I'm a dad, I have a, a six-year-old and two-year-old. Mm -hmm. And when I think of this, the magnitude, what they, the pressure they put on me and my brother, when they got divorced... They sat us down like, all right, you got to decide right now. Oh my I had that who, who, Who's coming with me? Who's uh -huh. coming with the, your mom? Yep. And my brother's like, I'll go with my mom. And I'm like, I'm staying with dad. Damn. So they separate. And then we would switch. So I'd go to my mom's what? Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then uh, your brother Sunday. Your flip-flop. And then my brother would flip-flop. Whoa. Swapping rooms and shit? Yeah, nightmare. Yeah, nightmare. That's Holy. crazy. It's like the fighter. That's Nightmare. wild. Yeah. Weird. I used to fight grown men in a steel cage in my underwear, and I yeah. do stand-up comedy. Now. Yeah. Like, yeah, no that's shit. That's all fucking dude. making sense. Dude, one bad break, and I'm fucking Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. How, sure. uh, how, what's the age difference between you and your brother? He's two years older. And did you guys went to the same high school? Say, same everything. But well, you went to the same high school where we're living in separate houses, yeah. essentially. Yep, exactly. Did Holy he wear cleats fuck. to school or anything no. like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> It was in the marching band, oddly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, my brother, he had uh he used to beat me up so bad. Like everyone, if you have brothers or sisters, sure, yes, sure. Fine. the older brother. Hundred percent. Get course. all that. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's normal. He would beat me up so bad, like uh I'd be outside and again, I'm not an aggressive person, despite what you guys think and the way I look. Sure. But I uh I would just <laughs> Whatever be, you say, bro. Yeah. In the forty five <laughs> knockouts. Whatever, man. Yeah. Yeah, say that to Mirko Krokop. Yeah, no, but uh, I was just uh, really into like Saturday Night Live. Like I, sure. that was my thing, man. Mm -hmm. I, that's that was my goal. But my brother just had horrible anger issues, and I'm sure everyone has anger issues. But sure. my brother's was so bad. The divorce compound on top yeah, of that. Yeah, so I shit. would uh, just be chilling. He'd, he'd take a golf club or a bat and beat me with it. What? Yeah. Jesus. So we had to go to anger management when I was like eight or nine. And Both that did, of you? But yeah, my dad brought us there. And even then, the I, fuck, I'm the one getting hit. Yeah, it's more of this fucking yeah, ruin my, my Saturday. My parents wouldn't stop; like they didn't know how to stop it because he's out yeah. of control. Damn! He took my head and rammed it into the fireplace. So I, even now, people think it's from fighting, but it's from my brother when I was younger. Jeez. My parents are like, "You don't need stitches." I'm like, "That makes sense." <laughs> yeah. So what's he doing shit. now? Uh, he's my uh, tour. We're great now. Okay. Growing up, it was tough, dude. Mm -hmm. Tough, tough. Jesus. Yeah, tough, tough. But he was he was the bat. He should have been the fighter. Uh huh. He, dude, yeah. he, he got Textbook, into yeah. he got into so many fights. And like our first day, uh, uh, fifth grade for me, first day of sixth grade for him, we lived like maybe you know half a block from the the middle school, and then uh, my elementary school was like maybe I don't know half a mile. So he would go earlier. I'll never forget this first day of school. He left right. I'm like, have fun, loser. Mm -hmm. And then I left. I don't know, 45 hour later, I'm walking. I see him walking back. What the fuck is he doing? And he had blood all over his shirt. And he's like, ah, I got suspended. I'm like, it it's been 20 <laughs> minutes, dude. It's literally been 10 minutes. Jesus. My parents had to go up there. And what they found out is because he had uh, glasses and uh, braces. So they made fun of him. He wasn't like me. He didn't put up with it. He'd fight back. So this kid was making fun of him. You know, he didn't know the kid. So he socked the kid in the face. This is sixth grade. Socked the kid in the face. Oh kid goes to the ground. And my brother's holding the milk. He had like fucking, you know, just regular fucking 2% milk. and Fucking head kicks the kid. Like, teeth, everything. Blood everywhere. Milk, fuck, shut uh -huh. So he gets suspended for, like, I don't know, fucking four months or some shit like that. I don't know what the milk had to do with the story, but I like I that you put it in there. Yeah, it's also I, just, I, just, I say I just, he dumped it on him. No, what's impressive is he had a milk and was able to <laughs> punch the kid and still kick him in the face. That's what kind of savage you're dealing yeah. with, dude. Didn't spill one drop of my Nestle's quick either. <laughs> yeah, dude. You also say milk very trashy. You say it like him. Yes. With an E. Milk. Well, also, I have a speech impediment, so uh. be cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy, that was your first warning. Yeah. Okay. That's strike one, man. You fucking turn the AC on in here? God damn. <laughs> yeah. No. Let's move the whiskey. Yeah. Holy shit. What did your dad do? What did your mom do? Uh, My mom was like a property manager, bounced around. Uh, um, my mom's crazy, but uh, it's also where my I get my comedy from is my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, like my mom would steal as a, like she would steal all the with time with you there, uh, or like she, with me there. She would do uh, we'd go at a restaurant and she like she didn't have a lot of money, so she'd get paid, and we'd go to Chili's. I grew up Chili's was like our fucking Del Frisco's, <laughs> and I, my thing That's was awesome. I would get a a full rack of ribs, which is the most expensive 
item on the menu and a chocolate shake. That was my that was my celebration. I'll go there right now if my special hits a million. <laughs> Dude, so I would do that every time when my mom would let me do it. And then uh, I would know if money was tight. She'd be like, let's get the chicken fingers, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I remember she's like, order whatever you want. You want two of them? I'm like, sure. She's like, oh. you want two shakes? You want extra chairs? I'm like, oh, it's mom's balling. Yeah. And then the check comes on. I'm like, okay, cool. So um, I'll meet you up front, right? I'll pull the car around. And then uh, you guys just, when you're done, you meet me out there. But I was a kid, and I was like, sure, it makes yeah. sense. She probably gave, paid, gave the money and went to the car. Mm -hmm. Nope. She just did Dine and Dash for the longest time, dude. Holy Dine shit. Dash, yeah. Anybody ever catch you? Never. No. Really? You don't she respect would... the mom with the two kids or the kid, you know. You, yeah, that's it's a not, good cover. You're expecting, like, teenagers or whatever. Is that why she had you wear cleats? So you can make <laughs> it clean get away? Hey, listen, when you hear the gunshot, go. Dude, dude <laughs> those cleats get a little slippery on that chili's floor. <laughs> yeah. That tile floor? Yeah. Bad news. Yeah. That... What are you doing? You're wearing the cleats? Yeah. Jesus why Christ. Why would you wear cleats to chilies? <laughs> We're trying to rip off a bowling alley, yeah. idiot. What are you doing? Yeah. Stuck in the revolving door. Yeah. Dude, that's wild. Mm -hmm. Wild. But, she, but my mom is the reason where I'm at where I'm at now because sure. every Saturday, man, she, you know, she had uh, Robin Williams on the TV all the time, who I looked up to for so long. And then Saturday Night Live was like my North Star. Yeah. Like I grew up on all the old school Saturday Night Lives, and of she course. forced me to watch that. So Saturday nights, like my mom, don't get it twisted. She might be crazy, but she was fucking the best mom as far as like, watch this, be into this. So every Saturday, no matter what I was doing, we would watch Saturday Night Live. Mm. Yeah. That's awesome. The Chili's thing. That's fucking great. That might be one of the wildest stories yeah. we've heard. Dine what? and Dash with the kids. Yeah. What kind of telling her I'll meet you outside. <laughs> like they didn't even she didn't even she didn't even make sure you got out there. <laughs> she didn't like let you guys go first. She was like, fuck it. It's every man for themselves. Go. Meet me in the Burger King parking lot in twenty minutes. I love yeah. that. That's yeah. hardcore. That's a great story. And what about your pop? What'd he do? My pops was it's a uh, pursuit of happiness. Sometimes I tear up when I tell this story. But my dad was uh, uh, never missed. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 you don't have to go into it. Here we go. <laughs> this kid's on edge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, he's gonna hit me. This he's crying. CD's really flaring out, man. I start hugging you, calling you dad. Yeah. <laughs> if you pull out a golf club, I'm yeah. running. <laughs> No, but my dad never missed a football game, nothing. Monster, ah, that's monster awesome. of a dad, super disciplined. He's where I get my work ethic from. It's great. It's, the one thing that drives me nuts is, you know, it's not a bad compliment. People go, oh, he has the professional athlete's work ethic. No, dude, I have my dad's work ethic. Yeah. It's, it's, I could be working at Chipotle and have the same work ethic. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. what I know. My dad's a monster. But uh, we grew up in a super modest house, like two bedroom in uh, Aurora, Colorado. And my dad was super smart. So, he was selling like computer programs at the time. He got, he got about fucking early, or late 80s. Late 80s. Okay. And 90s. he would go door to door, like pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. He'd have a briefcase. He'd always have a suit on, man. Looking like he was always into fashion, like always looked like a fucking dime piece. And he'd go door to door selling them. And sometimes me and my brother would follow him. And then uh, he sold um, some uh, software. He okay. sold his software. And then I remember him on the phone. He was on the phone and he was jumping around and he's, he's jumping around. I'll never forget. The cord was all tangled around him. And he's like, we made it. We Damn. made it. I just and got then, chills. And then dude. two days later, <clears throat> he had a printout of all these houses. And he goes, which one you guys like? What was the I'm made it? What happened? Dude, this is what crazy. Saying? What was the made it? What, what happened? He sold, uh, he sold his, uh, like the, the thing he was working on, this big computer thing. Okay. He sold it to some big company. Damn. Damn. Mm -hmm. And that was it. You guys had made it where everything worked out. Yeah. 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 And then uh, I didn't know what was going on because I was young. And I remember I was like, oh, I like that one. And I thought he was just, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was like, I like that one. You remember my dad just pulled I, a slip and fall at a TGI Fridays. Yeah. Dude, I'm like, really? This one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing cleats. <laughs> now, what are we stealing from this house, yeah. Dad? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're robbing houses now. <laughs> we got to bring mom on yeah. in this. Can we stop and get a chocolate shake on the way? <laughs> uh, he, uh, yeah, I didn't know. I was too young. So I was like, that one. Then two weeks later, we pulled up to the house. He's like, you and your brother, go pick a room. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fucking awesome, man. It was like pursuit of happiness That's shit. That's all right. Man. Yeah, my dad's That's gangster. all right. We're, all three of us are going to be crying in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. A bunch of pussies got, over yeah, here. Yeah, I apologize, man. No, no. no that's a comedy no, podcast. That's what How fatty was baby. the house? Uh, it's interesting, right? Because he still lives in that house. And at the time, you know, I, I didn't grow up in that environment. It was... At the time, it was like, to me, the Home Alone house. It was the biggest yeah. thing I've ever yeah, yeah, seen, yeah. dude. Okay. Now I've made my own way. You know, a lot of credit to my dad. And 
you know, now that I used to fit three of those houses in my house. You sure, know? So it's course. like I go back and I'm just like, damn, this isn't, I was crazy. Yeah. Well, thing. so yeah, the perspective of like yeah, you're in like, a two yeah, bedroom this shit ain't and you're like, yeah. this, ain't, this, sh- this house ain't shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Step your fucking game up. Sell some yeah. more software, dork. Let's go. You made it. it is, yeah. <laughs> Call this making it? <laughs> Can't even park my cars yeah, here. Set your goals higher, man. <laughs> oh my god, that's wild. Huh. All right, let's get into it a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> Do people ever come on here and tell that weird stuff? Or did I fuck this no, episode? No, that was Dude, beautiful. No, what are you perfect. talking that's about? That's man. the show, baby. Uh, fucking fantastic. Uh, what was the pet situation growing up? Was there one? <sighs> Any lizards? Snakes, N- birds. Name, keep going. Tarantula. Are you serious? Name an animal. I was like fucking Steve Irwin before he died. Dude, I, <laughs> I didn't coke? fuck with stingrays, but I uh, <laughs> I was so- Couldn't I, fit him in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Can't let me talk to you about Helix mattresses. Helix. You ever heard of them? Have I heard of them? I made Boom Boom one in, in last night. Woo! Kids knocking boots on the Helix. Didn't hear a thing upstairs. No, though. neighbors weren't complaining about that. He got the quiet Life model. Life was. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and take the quiz. Take the quiz. Two minute quiz. Yeah, Does, find out how you sleep. Who doesn't you sleep have two hot, minutes? Sleep cold. They'll straighten you out, man. They'll send a mattress right to your door for your specific needs. Yeah, me and the lady did. We were matched with the Twilight mattress. Uh, best mattress I've ever had. First adult, grown up, you know, big boy mattress I've ever had. It's fantastic. Best sleep of my life. So if you're looking for a mattress, take the quiz. Order the mattress that you're matched to. Comes right to your door. Ship for free. You don't ever have to go to a Bozo mattress store again. Nope. Uh, just go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. Like I said, two minute quiz. Match it with a customized mattress. Give you the best sleep of your life. Plus, they got a 10 year warranty. And you get to try it out for 100 nights risk free. That's over three months. They'll even pick it up if you don't love it. But like I've said previously, I'll give, You're it, gonna. The, I'll give it the KJ stamp of approval. You're going to love this thing. Helix even has financing options and flexible payment plans. So a great night's sleep is never far away. Helix is offering up to $200. <laughs> 200 clams, 200 bon- bonzos, whatever you need. Uh, and two free pillows for your listeners at helixsleep.com slash garbage. One more time, helixsleep.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Kip, a spoke post. Are you talking about Box of Awesome? I'm talking about the Box of Awesome. I'm talking about that it's springtime. Wouldn't it be nice for every month to have a box of cool stuff just show up at your door? I'm talking grooming materials, things for your home bar, things for outside, stuff for outdoor use. You're going to be at, you're going to be getting around in this spring. And you want to be flexing on people. And you want to look cool Show doing up with it. some cool fucking shit. It's so, cool guy shit. You never know you need it until you get it. You know, I fucking need this. Get yourself a box of awesome. Do yourself a favor. It's unbelievable. And guess what? Most of the things that they get are all come from small businesses. Mm-hmm. How about that? So you're helping out the little guy. It's handcrafted material here. Curated. Each box is valued at over at around seventy dollars but you only pay a fraction of that price uh it's free to sign up you can skip a month at any time to get 20 percent off your first box your first monthly box when you sign up at box of awesome.com enter the code garbage at checkout you know it that's box of awesome.com promo code garbage for 20 percent off your first box one more time write it down box of awesome.com code garbage do it i uh my favorite movie was ace ventura so mm-hmm. that, hit, when that hit me, that hit yeah, heavy big time I missed a full week of school and go see it at the movie theater. My mom just let me miss school and she'd take me to work. There's a movie theater across her work. So I just ditch every day and go see Ace Ventura six days in a row like Damn, a savage. That's wild. But um, I was, that movie, I, I was always into animals. And then I had every animal. You know, geckos, fucking tarantulas. Rep, every, uh, I had a bird that somebody gave my mom. and I was like, can we keep it? She said, I guess. They gave it to us because this thing... This thing was... Who's the, getting free birds? That's crazy, dude. It, it was, bro, she stole that for sure, right? All, you're right. She just stole a bird. She stole that bird from the zoo. Because it wasn't like a peacock or like a... Pe- it was a, this, a fucking bird, dude. It was a, a huge bird. Like this a, guy's got a toucan in his room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it was a peacock. <laughs> but we didn't have... My mom was like, we're not getting a cage for it. Put it in your closet. I'm like, that makes sense at eight. So I had in my closet, but this bird had anger issues. So he'd come in and just attack him. Yeah, he's in a closet, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, then one day I was sick of getting attacked. I just left the closet, opened the front door, open. He was just like, later, losers. And then he bought won. the house next door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holy shit. That's, yeah. So I loved animals. Do you, have I, any, do you have normal dogs, cats, anything? Had a fish? Had, so, yeah, man. So I had cats when I was a kid, and uh, I've always had really bad allergies. And they were so bad to the point where they took me to the doctor, and the doctor's like, yeah, we did all the tests. We can't figure it out, man. And the doctor goes, hey, real quick, uh, 
do you guys have any pets? And my mom goes, yeah, we have, we have three cats. And he goes. An ostrich. And, and, and we have a very aggressive ostrich. <laughs> he's in the closet, though. He's all right. He's in the closet, so he's cool for the most part. You have a kangaroo with a drinking problem? <laughs> I mean, we have a couple koalas. But no, uh, you know, nothing, nothing crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this kid is Dude wild. so he. Uh, You're insane. You know that. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know this was your backstory. This is yeah, fantastic. No, yeah. So uh, the doctor goes, uh, and he has allergies even in the winter? And my mom goes, yeah, all the time. He goes, yeah, right. Uh, so you know the allergy season doesn't exist in the winter. He's yeah. allergic to your cats, dumbass. Jeez. My mom's like, oh. So they found out I was super allergic to cats. Still am. the cats? No. Well, they kept them for probably another year, and then my dad just hated them. And then was like, oh, they ran away. And then about a year ago, my dad Another goes, year of allergies. Another year. <laughs> Your hey, face is all out, swollen. Oh, oh, dude, I'm Run talking- Run it off, I, I couldn't see. Like, go outside in your cleats, moron. <laughs> <laughs> but I- uh, About a year goes by, and I did love those cats. And then my dad- was like, oh, they ran away. They ran away. I'm like, oh, it's terrible. And about two years ago, I'm like, God, Dad, you remember when those cats ran away? He goes, oh, they didn't run away. I, I took them to the uh, to the where we walk at night, the park, and just let them go. Jeez, I was like, hell yeah, that's man. savage yeah. shit. Yeah. That you did that happened a lot in the nineties. Oh yeah, that was animals old just got whacked or let go. Well, now th- you can't do that shit. I They'll think parents away. back then knew that if you took it to the to the SPCA, they were just going to put it to sleep. And like you know, our parents' generation had that you know, fend for yourself mentality. And in their eyes, it's like, I'm going to let him free back into the wild. Yeah, they, they thought let it was him a do better his thing. life yeah. for them. Def- I mean, definitely not, you know, because no. there's coyotes out there. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. No shit. My mom, we had uh, gerbils, and I went on vacation with my dad, and my mom hated the gerbils, so she uh, just let them out. Who like, hates in the back. gerbils? Yeah, they she's, do she's, nothing. She's, she's they live lady. in an aquarium. <laughs> They used to piss and shit all. We would let, let in them out. Cage. No, we would let them out and shit. It was bad. Okay. So she set them out in the backyard, thinking like, oh, they'll just go die or whatever, live. And then we came home, and she's like, oh, listen, the gerbils died. We were like, ah, fuck, you know. And then like three days later, they're, they made it back into the house. We're like, peanuts on the TV. <laughs> yeah. She's like, fuck. They're flourishing. <laughs> yeah. My brother. They're uh, just killing it. Yeah. Yeah. My, my brother, for whatever reason, because I was the animal guy. And then he was like, oh, I had a hamster. This cute, he's my favorite hamster named Eddie. He was my favorite, man. He was all fat. Favorite hamster? Brown. Trashy statement. Super also statement. named Eddie? <laughs> Trashy statement. Yeah. <laughs> hamster named Eddie. He's my favorite. And my brother was goes, he a bookmaker, too? <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. Eddie the hamster There's is a, a mob name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so go see Eddie the hamster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I have to pay Eddie the hamster, right? Yeah. No, what is he, he uh, Sicilian? No, he's an actual <laughs> hamster. Yeah. The yeah, actual hamster, man. Eddie. Yeah. Was he from the Bronx? No, it's just a hamster from Petco. But he, uh, he, my brother, for whatever reason, was like, I want a hamster. And we go, and I was like, oh, this guy's fucking stealing my vibe. Yeah, man. stealing j- jacking your shit, dude. Dude, so we go to the pet store. And dude, he's th- this insane. My, this my ev- this, dude, this is my evil brother. He picks out, uh, it was the, I'll never forget, it was this white hamster with red eyes. Oh, goes, those, I know that goes, one. They I are want evil. that one. No. First of all, that's a rat. Just so you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's probably a rat. <laughs> so he picks out this rat with red eyes, <laughs> and see. he goes, "I want this one." Even the the person selling the animals is like, "Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's half off." Yeah. <laughs> so, dude, this it gets dark. You guys asked for it, so. Uh, he puts the hamster in there, and, and my brother's like, yeah, he's a friend now. Don't you want that? I'm like, yeah, that'd be good for him because he's lonely. My brother's like, yeah, he's lonely. So I go to school the next day. I come home, and I look in there, and uh, his rat, mm-hmm. now you brought that to light, his yeah. white rat with red eyes ate my hamster's face oh, off. God, of course it did, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Eddie like, got in with the wrong people. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Eddie should have paid the vig. <laughs> yeah, Ed, so Eddie is no longer with us. Damn. Holy Rest in peace, shit. Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. Way to go, Jay. Jesus. <laughs> wait, the other one. Wait, is Jay your brother yeah, or that's the my brother or the white? That's my what brother. was his rat's name? So I don't even know. It's probably something stupid because he was so into like Michael Jordan, MC Hammer. So it's probably like <laughs> you act like that's Jordan. a thing people are into together. You know, yeah. he's into Michael Jordan, MC Hammer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Sir Mix a lot, ain't Eddie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. dude. I thought the first left turn was going to come at the cage fighting. Yeah, yeah that no would be the shit. craziest thing about you, dude. Yeah, that's not like, the yeah, armad- not the armadillo in your dresser drawer. <laughs> yeah, I thought the peacock you grew up with in your closet was going to be the weird thing. You know? Your demon older brother, Jesus yeah. Christ! It's insane, dude. Holy shit! I was going to ask you if you know how to use chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> 
This guy comes in batting a thousand. Sorry, oh, fellas. No, oh, that's just, this is fantastic. What about the vacation situation as a kid? What would that look like? Mm, not a lot of them. We drive around. <laughs> <laughs> We'd, <laughs> we'd hit the highway for a couple of miles and then pack it in and go back. We did I-25 in Denver, but uh, I'd like to read that report in the fall when you got back to school. Uh, How was summer vacation? Hey, we drove up a little bit. We drove around. No, we, he, we, it was only road like, trips. Yeah, like, regional we, road trips. Yeah, like we'd you. go to uh, like Utah because my aunt lived there. Um, in the summers, I grew up in Venice Beach because my uncle had a house there, so we we would go out to Venice Beach a lot. That's in right. Cali, in Cali, yeah. That's pretty classy. All right, uh, we're getting drive somewhere. or fly. You ever been to Venice Beach? Yeah, but especially it, especially in the nineties. Oh, it's probably, we're probably you're, real you ever seen hairy. American History X or White yeah. Man Can't Jump? Still, on that's the coast, what I grew up though. in. It's on the coast, but it you know that's yeah, it's not the good. I'm part. not the only one with a peacock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that, that place is wild. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. in the 90s. Yeah, no, Yikes. that makes sense. Would you drive there or fly? You'd fly. You'd fly there, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hmm. When did you get your passport? Do you remember? Fuck. I got my passport probably senior year of high school because we, we went to Cancun for a uh, senior Bring, trip. That's good. That's, that's good. nice. First time I ever drank. Okay. Really? Passed out, woke up with a tattoo on my ankle. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. man. What is it? Had to get a tetanus shot. Yeah, it, was, uh, <laughs> like a, it was like a barcode. You I think, got a barcode tattooed yeah, on you? Yep. And I didn't know. I woke up the next morning on my butt. You know, everyone got drunk and I go in the ocean. I'm like, God damn, my ankle is killing me, dude. I looked down. I had like a, all these numbers on it. I think they were going to sell me in the sex slave industry. <laughs> <laughs> and I like to think I would go for pretty yeah, high Yeah, pretty price. top dollar. I'm not, you they know, don't put receipts on them, yeah. I don't think. I wasn't this big at the time, but, you know, I was still a dime. Still doing all right. Yeah. Had acne. I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a 10, but I was close. He was not 15% off. What do you want? Yeah. I didn't look like the kids from Euphoria. Uh, you know, but I was doing oh, those all kids right. are all right. Yeah. <sighs> what about lunches as a kid? Did you pack your lunch? Did you buy your lunch in high school? Had uh, had lunch at the school. Okay. So my favorite was peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because they put extra peanut butter on them. They I did. Drink, they I, were wild. The ones favorite. they made at the cafeteria, ours were triple deckers. Yeah. And it was it was one sandwich of peanut butter and one <clears throat> thick band of jelly. They were phenomenal. And, I, if I, but nobody really fucked with them. <clears throat> I super like. I was the one fat kid where I would see peanut butter and jelly, but like. Yeah, yeah, get all jazzed like, up over what it. The yeah. fuck, yeah. Because I love the, them. I love the thick peanut Thank butter you. with the jelly. Like there's barely any jelly, all peanut butter. I'm a big. Pe- Sometimes I'll go just peanut butter. I don't care. <laughs> Say less. Yeah. <laughs> you chunky or creamy? You chunky or creamy? creamy. Yeah, I like chunky, but it's okay. I'll go yeah. either way. I grew up on creamy yeah. though. It's okay. Um, so that was my favorite, and then I, uh, then I would uh, either ask a buddy or trade them. I'd trade like whatever the dessert because I loved the strawberry milk. So okay. I, I used to always drink the strawberry. Yeah, I hated that shit. Were you I a bet. strawberry milk guy? What the fuck yeah, do you think? Yeah, kidding me? Yeah. He wants to drop a line of his own grape. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, of course. You can use does. an SM right now. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> uh, jobs as a kid? Jobs as a kid. Uh, my first job ever, I was a janitor. I was a janitor at a at a what gross, grocery talking? store, 16. Yeah, like first right, grocery store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before that, I had my own lawn mowing, lawn mowing business. Kid's I, a worker. Yeah, I, I I drew out my own business cards. It had uh, George Jetson on it, mowing a lawn. Because I, I like to draw. I can draw a little bit. Okay. So I had George Jetson on there, and then I'd go around to the neighborhood mowing lawns. Where'd you get the mower? Uh, it was my dad's. Okay. Yeah, yeah it was just Bar standard the mower. mower. Yeah. That's Making good. a little money for yourself. Yeah, little right. Money, yeah. Shirts off in the summer. Yeah. Not yeah. too bad. Brings all the boys to the yard. Sun's out, guns out, baby. Yeah. Would, uh, what'd you get on your SATs? Yeah, how were you as a student? Uh, in high school, I think I graduated like a 3.3. Three, three. Really? Double d- right. Double major in college. Whoa. Yeah. Where'd you go to college? Uh, University of Colorado. Damn. Yeah. That's a good school. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Double major, graduated the whole nine yeah, yards? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What yes, were the sir. two majors? Uh, business and sociology. All right. An educated man here. This guy, you're like a Renaissance man. You do it all, shabby. baby. I guess, man. Hmm. What was the first car growing up? First car was a truck, Ford F one fifty, red. Really? Used? Nice. Yes. Paid for it yourself? Uh down payment that my dad would help me out from yes. time to time. All right. Not too hmm. shabby, man. What was the name of the supermarket you worked at? And did your parents shop at that one? Yes, they did. It was an Albertsons. That's all right. And nice. I was a janitor. They treated me like shit. And then I uh I knew I was going down a weird road because you know you remember back in the day when they had like the candy, just put in like five cents and take whatever you want. Yeah, I would uh, 
grab all the candy in the world because I love candy. Sure. Mm-hmm. I, I have cavities now, so I can't eat it. But I would, and I'm not getting them fixed. But I would grab the candy. It's a weird, weird statement. Yeah, we'll what? get back to the candy. Why aren't you getting your cavities fixed? Because I'm such a sugar fiend. Like I grew up, like I'm addicted, addicted to sugar, but they, it hurts my teeth because of the cavities, mm-hmm. but I'm losing weight. So I'd rather lose weight and not get the cavities fixed. So you would eat, because you would eat candy. Because if you Correct. got them fixed, you would, would go back candy, to candy. Yes. Wow. And I'm That's down about psycho mentality. Pounds. Yeah, yeah, this I is don't like it. Yeah. Holy cow. What's your favorite candy? Everybody's going to hate me after hearing this. Uh, no. Favorite candy? Uh, this is where I might be a serial killer. I love the good and plenties. The, the pink and white good and plenties. Whoa. My mom's English, so I'm half English. My mom was born and raised in England. So okay. I love English candy. Black licorice. The, the wine gums, you know, all that shit. Pastels, all Man, that shit. He likes good and plenties and owns peacocks. I don't know yeah. about this. Yeah. Are, you, are you a Haribo guy? Yeah, I like Haribo. Yeah, the, the bags of... Uh, the, but what I do with those is I leave them out so they get stale. I like them real hard. That's why my teeth are fucked up. Whoa. That's this guy's have, like a that, shark. That's why I have Richard Ramirez teeth. Yeah. If you ever seen his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I love how like you were a professional fighter, you've been punched in the head thousands of times, and like all of your injuries are not from that. <laughs> no, no. You're like my teeth are fucked up, not from fighting. Yeah. Gummy candy, worms. Yeah. <laughs> you like how pizza? many could you that? Fifteen, not from fighting, yeah. from slipping on the fucking tile <laughs> wearing cleats. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. God damn. The gummy bears. That's wild. You like pizza? Yeah, but only a month old. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a, a go to frozen pizza growing up? Uh, Totino's. Whoa. 99 cents. Okay. The right. combination that weird fake sausage and yep. the little uh, square cuts of the pepperoni. I don't hate it. That's I legit. go through two of them. Those Dunkaroos. <sighs> grew up on Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos in the pack or in the box? The uh, little pack, right? The pack. Yeah. yeah, yeah pack right? only. The individual. Pack yeah. only. Yeah, Beautiful. Only. I mean, yeah, we're not rich. But then. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then I would, uh, the toaster strudels. Now I would take an ass kicking for this because my brother loved them as well, but I love icing. When I you say I like sugar, ice, yeah. you don't understand. Mm-hmm. So I would take six icings, put on one toaster strudel Then my brother would wake up and I knew it was going to be a fight and I'd lose, but it was so worth it. Jesus. I enjoyed, <laughs> I enjoyed that thick icing on that toaster strudel Like you wouldn't believe dude. It was worth every ass whooping. I've been against your brother until right now. If I roll into that freezer and you were eating all the icing, I'm beating your shit out of you too. I'm that right now. Hundred <laughs> percent. So aggravating. Holy shit! Yeah. But I like how you're like, fuck it. I'll take the beating. Yeah, I, I have a guy who's been beating your ass. Like I don't care. It's not. It's fucking worth it. Let's Bring go. Bring it on, man. A toaster strudel with no icing. Yeah. Get mm. the fuck any day of the here. week, dude. Whoo, man. Something else. Hmm. Hacky well, sack. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing he hits me over? <laughs> yeah. I just saw the fighter shop come out. He was like, what the fuck? Hack you. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Did you play did you play sports in high school? Yeah. yeah. L- lacrosse and football. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Did you have any aspirations of playing in college? Yeah, I played at University of Colorado. And you that, did? Yeah, four years. Football? Then, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, when you start, why, don't you, why don't you start dropping your Widener <laughs> University two years in the JV squad? He's, a, he's always fucking reliving the glory days yeah. until a real athlete comes in and you're pretty, mom's the fucking word over here. Fucking D1 athlete. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, I was a walk on there and then earned a scholarship after a year. Yeah, pussy. God <laughs> damn. And then, I, and then from there I went um, to uh, the NFL at a, uh, a cappuccino with the Buffalo Bills. I literally was on the team as long as anybody here was. And, uh, <laughs> Wait, what's a cappuccino? Like, like he had a drink. L- l- with, okay, yeah. it was really that quick. quick. Okay. It was literally a, a quick shot of cappuccino. And they're like, we're all set on slow white guys. I went, that makes sense. <laughs> but you were technically <laughs> on the Bills at mm-hmm. one point? Mm-hmm. The Buffalo Bills. Yeah, went to training camp, Buffalo Bills. God damn. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Bills Mafia. I apologize for the hacky sack question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that offended me. Lucky, yeah. <laughs> you're lucky he doesn't shove you in a locker yeah. right now. We're into dodgeball. <laughs> wow, I was too busy making out with your girlfriend. How's what's your tetherball you, game? Yeah. What's your thoughts on freeze tag? <laughs> <laughs> Red light, green light? Yeah. <laughs> How good were you at Red Rover, Red Rover? Uh, I got one more on childhood. Uh, what was the name of the mall that you shopped at growing up or you would go hang There's out There's two at? of them. There's Aurora Mall and Buckingham Mall. With, pretty, is, they sound pretty good. With, uh, not no. really good. So Aurora Mall would be well known because that was the movie theater at that mall that was connected to the shooting, shooting. Okay. for The Dark okay. Knight. So yeah. I grew up around The Dark Knight. What's interesting about that is then it, my childhood uh, apartment that my mom grew up in, 
across the street, literally right behind, right where we lived behind us was the Chuck E. Cheese that was also shot up by Nathan Dunlap, who went to my high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, he went to your high school? Yeah. He was older than me. I was a kid. But shot that place up. And then the guy who got shot in the the face and pretended he was dead and then escaped came to my apartment's mill pond. And then that's when they called the cops and all that shit happened. Damn. Damn. Holy shit. It's also fuck Chuck E. Cheese, right? (laughs) (laughs) That mouse is creepy as shit. I haven't liked that. You ever looked at the origin story of uh, Chuck E. Cheese? No. I don't know why it's out there, but it is dark. Really? <laughs> oh, my I God. I think I did just see something like this on the internet not too long ago. Yeah, it's a dark story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, yes, I yes. do know now. Yeah. I do, it does does ring a bell. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about Titan. Titan, Titan, Titan. That cool little investment app that Ooh. they got over there where they take the guesswork out of it. They do it for the experts. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Wouldn't it be nice instead of going to Reddit or going here or going to there or trying to catch the next thing, have experts do it for you? Then I guess what? Titan's the answer. Yeah. You go to experts when you want something done right. You want a, you want a high-class meal? You go to a high-class chef. You're not hey. cooking hot dogs in your apartment. No, like a bozo. No, not at all. So why would it be like that when it comes to your investments, your crypto, your this, your retirement, the whole nine yards? That's why you got to check out Titan. As everyday investors, the cards are stacked against us. We've been given access to this marketplace of stocks, but we're competing competing against institutional investors with unlimited resources. Guys that went to Harvard. I know. Then they're they're going up against me. Yeah. Fox Business School graduated, 2.3 GPA. Giuseppe's Employee of the Month, (laughs) 1999. Uh, Growing your long-term wealth isn't something you can just do yourself, and it shouldn't uh, and you shouldn't. So just sit back, and, sh- and you shouldn't just sit back and shoot for average returns. With Titan, you have a personal investment team that researches and invests for you, so that you can aim to outperform the market while giving you courtside seat to become a smarter investor along the way. They, Look at that. Uh, what are we doing? If you're out there playing the penny stocks, whatever, get involved with Titan. Mm-hmm. Even if you're not, let them do it. What are, what's going on here? Uh, check out Titan if you want to aim to become the smartest, wealthiest investor you've ever been. It's not saying much for me because nope. I've been fleeced every time I've tried. <laughs> That's why I'm with Titan now. So head to Titan.com slash garbage to get free $50 to invest with Titan. You must use this URL or you will not get that free 50 bones. Do it. Uh, and they won't know that we sent you. That's 50 bucks when you go to Titan.com slash garbage to invest with Titan. One more time, Titan.com slash garbage invest with Titan. This is a paid partnership with Titan at the time of the publication. I am not invested in Titan strategies. Uh, what about now? Talking about the house. You make a couple of bucks. Couple you do all right for yourself. You got a lot of jobs. You wear a lot of hats. You do pretty good. Mm-hmm. Pool? Yeah. Got a pool. Jacuzzi? Mm-hmm. How many car garage? Three car garage. Three car garage. Now, can you fit three cars in there now, or is it filled with shit? No, you can fit three you cars. You can pull in now. three cars. Mm-hmm. What's right. the whip these days? What are you rolling around in? Uh, I just saw something. This is where I'm going to lose the fan base. <laughs> I, uh, I'm i a huge car guy. Okay. So just, just a little you know, background here. I grew up, again, my dad pursued happiness. Sure. His goal in life was to own a 911 Porsche. So in our living room was a framed picture of a 911. Mm-hmm. So that was my North Star. Yeah, don't be ashamed of being successful. Yeah. You fucking busted your ass. You climbed yeah. out of Aurora. Yeah, you, sure. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Flex. And walked onto the goddamn Buffalo that's Bills. That's fucking I mean, wild. That's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Don't act like you haven't earned it here. Yeah. So uh, as soon as <laughs> I could, as soon fire. as I could afford a 911, I bought one. Sent my dad just a to picture. burn it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I bought one and blew it up. <laughs> Take that, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. And it's full of cats. Yeah. <laughs> in your Put face. my brother's rat. Who's in there winning and now? It. Yeah. No. Uh, so I bought a 911 as soon as I could afford it. I leased that. But now uh, I I grew up going to car shows. I'm a big gearhead. So okay. now without you know I'm super blessed. So now I of have course. a uh, uh, F8 Ferrari Spider. I have a GT2 RS. This uh, is the richest guy you know. Porsche. Holy shit! Uh, a G Wagon 63. Holy That's a tax write off. That's for IRS purposes. An Aston Martin and a uh, Ford Bronco. A brand new Ford Bronco. Holy shit! What do you whip around in though? If you're running the my store daily driver, whatever, yeah. My daily driver is the Ferrari right now. Yeah. You're rolling around L.A. in a fucking Ferrari? Let's go, baby. Holy shit, that's fucking awesome. I, yeah, to be fair, I work super Dude, hard. You do not have to explain it. But back to my dad, um, when 
so I don't know if you know how Ferrari works. So let's say you so we it, do not. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I've seen you, I've seen Magnum PI. I'll sh I'll tell you how Kia works if yeah. you want to know that. Yeah. I'll school you on Kia because yeah. I got a I got a nice yeah. Forte. In I that. can tell you all about, about the Toyota Camry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you know how Ferrari. Uh, works. Oh God, I, I sound like such an no, asshole. No, please do not. It's all you've earned. No, all yeah. I do not know how Ferrari yeah. works. You know. were dead on the money, I, maybe, my maybe friend. Maybe there was a gearhead in here, but uh, so let's say. One of the four you want a Ferrari. You can't go into the Ferrari deal and buy a Ferrari. You have to what? be allocated the Ferrari. Now you can, you could, if you're a billionaire, you can buy it, but the markup, the 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 market for them is so high. Sure. So if you want a Ferrari, you can't get an MSRP. The only way to get an MSRP is it's for a Ferrari. This. Yes, and there's a wait list. It's around probably ten years to get on the list. So I bought a Ferrari probably six years ago, seven years ago, and I put my name on the list because you have to be a former owner of a fry to get on the list. So I bought a used fry. Nothing crazy, just a used fry. Put my name on the list. It was like, yeah, in 10, 15 years, it's going to be lit. Hopefully I'm still doing well. I can afford it. And then... Uh, <laughs> but, now I'm good. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Things aren't going well. Yeah. That's a tough call to yeah. field. <laughs> You're sitting in a two-bedroom apartment. Yeah. Sorry, my mom got caught stealing. I had to bail her out. Can't afford it. Click. No, but I... Uh, I was doing a show at a La Jolla Comedy Store in, San in La Jolla. We Love it. Just there. Love One it. of my favorite clubs Love of all time. First time doing it? First Love time doing it. it. One of the best clubs. Oh, yeah, that room, it's nuts. Man. It's insane. Killbox. I don't know what it is. It's crazy. It's Good the best. times. The, the, the stage is great. The room's great. The staff is great. The best ever. One of my favorite nights of comedy I've ever had. Yes. Yeah. One of my very favorite clubs. So I'm there, I don't know, like a year ago. And I do the, the meet and greets after the shows. Sure. And this guy comes up. He has like slick back, silver hair. Dope ass suit. Nobody wears shows to my, you know, suits to my yeah. show. It's mm -hmm. just I'm like, what the fuck's happening there? And he's talking to me. <clears throat> and he goes, "You're a car guy, right?" I go, yeah, big car guy. And he goes, "Oh, what's your favorite?" And I go, "My my favorite car ever made is a GT2 RS." He goes, "Oh, those are cool." I go, "Yeah." And he goes, uh, "You you ever driven one?" I go, "Yeah, I own it, man. It's my favorite car. I'm never getting rid of it." He goes, "You ever driven a Ferrari?" He had a Ferrari, his front engine though. And I'm talking about. It. I go, "Not my favorite, man." He goes, "Ah, that's a shame." And I go, "Yeah, no, they're cool though, but you know, I'd rather have a Porsche." He goes, "Oh, cool, man." And I go, but I, you know, I'm I'm waiting to get on the the list. I heard it's like a ten year waiting list. He goes, that's yeah, fucking tough, mm -hmm. man. Go, All right, say less, dude. He leaves. Again, I asked to be on that list. You know, I don't know, seven years ago. I'm driving down uh, somewhere in San Diego. My brother's in the car, and uh, we're in my Bronco. And I get a call, and they go, hey, it's uh, uh, Ferrari North America. You got uh, allocated a Ferrari. You're, you you got pushed to the front of the line. You got allocated a Ferrari. Guy. That guy was the head of Ferrari North America. And he was Whoa. the biggest fan. He was just no a big shit. fan. Yeah. So I got allocated. I didn't know this. The way it works is when they allocate your Friday, there's such a wait list. You literally have like five minutes to say, I'll take it. You take it. And you got to have, yeah, you got to have yeah, all yeah. that cash on. You got to go. Yeah. So I call my business manager. I'm like, dude, listen. I got to buy a Ferrari right I'm now. I'm like, hey, I just, it, it's, it's an investment. We can flip this thing in a year. Like, but either way, I got to get it done. And he's mm -hmm. like, I guess, man, you know? So. Got it done, and then uh, do you get a choice of what kind of Ferrari you get? Mm -mm. They go, we have this. It's coming off really? the boat from Italy, and it, it do just you get to choose. No, uh, were they because you just want your foot in the door, so you can right. take whatever. Because so once step you get that, you can go and, yeah, to wherever yeah, yeah, yeah. the next allocation. And is it that year's model? Or yeah, is it's it a brand new one, brand new at MSRP. So it just so happened if I were to buy a Ferrari and design it myself to a T, it had. If I was designing it, it'd be this exact car. You just car. got lucky and got the one you it really Because my favorite color in cars is uh, like uh, dark green, like British green, because my mom's British. Mm -hmm. So I grew up loving dark green cars. So it's a dark green fry, which you never see, with tobacco leather, and it's the spider, so it's convertible. So Damn. it was literally, it was just so strange. So uh, when I, f and then they're like, all right, it's going to arrive in whatever, six weeks. So I called my dad, and I go, hey, I booked you a ticket on this day he goes for what i go don't ask you're gonna see your grandkids and i got something cool to do so my dad arrives he has no idea why he's there and we drive down to san diego i have to pick it up in san diego so we're driving down my dad's like where the fuck are we going we're arguing the whole time like <laughs> god damn it dude, me and my dad are like two fucking siamese fish man we get together like especially when politics and covid we just fight yeah so we're fighting the entire way i'm like would you just shut, the, shut fuck the fuck up, up? I'm about to blow your you're mind you're ruining i'm trying to show you i love you yeah, yeah. So we get there and we walk in front. He's like, "What the fuck?" And they have my car there with a like a veil over it, like a red veil. Mm -hmm. And I go, "I bought this, Dad. I bought from telling jokes on stage, which you told me was a bad idea. I bought this fucking Ferrari from telling jokes on the road, man." Jesus. And they fucking ripped it off, and he was just like, 
it, my dad's not an emotional dude, and he was fucking. That's fucking. Shook. Sweet. Did you make him ride the bus home? Yeah. <laughs> so take an Uber, yeah, Dork. He, he took a four hour long Uber back. <laughs> well, I had a great time in the Ferrari. I, yeah. I made it in 20 minutes. Yeah. Dude, that's wild. What Damn. about boats? You got any boats? No boats. Not Helicopters? Boat. Bad investment. Yeah, no. It's all about investment. Man. Smart with your money. He is smart. Right. So I see. Yeah, right. Yeah. Boats Ferrari's are money investment. pits. Yeah. Yes. A Ferrari's an investment. Yeah. A, a, a nice car is yeah. an investment. Mm. This kid's fucking. I'm telling you right now. Flying first class, I assume? Mm-hmm. Good man. Good man. If you had to choose between a Slurpee or an Icy, what are you going with? Oh, fuck. I love both of them. My son's balls deep in Slurpees right now. Slurpees. Okay. That's all, all he right. wants. Mm-hmm. The original Slurpee's nice. Oh, man. The Coca-Cola Slurpee. This is a tough one, dude. Coca-Cola Icy ain't nothing to shake a stick at. Yeah, either. I'll take Icy, though. Ice, really? Yeah. I grew up on Icy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But my son here. likes Slurpees now. Those 7-Elevens are dicey, man. Dude, that's that's why I never <laughs> even as God, a I got a Ferrari out front. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Even as a kid, I didn't like the I didn't like the Slurpee just because the 7-Elevens were so dirty. The 7-Elevens are so We grew up with Wawa, which was like nicer and cleaner Where'd you grow up? Outside of Philly. Gotcha. So I love Philly. Yeah, shout out to One Philly. One of my baby. favorite cities. It's I'm great. there in May. Nice. Two weeks I'm Go in Philly. check them out. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Wait. Yeah, the helium. Shout out, yeah, 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 yeah. Helium was great. Before we move on too far from the car, do you eat in the Ferrari? Never. Do you eat in any of the cars? The Bronco, maybe. The Bronco, I treat like uh, like a hotel. I'll wipe my hands in the sheets. That's, sure, a, that's yeah. your that's your jerking bomber off car. in the corner. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah the, I like those new Broncos too. The new yeah. Broncos are so cool. fun. That's yeah. your bomber. You don't mind trash. That's in that's my daddy wagon. Mm-hmm. Like okay. my kids can go in the back and take the top off. They love it. In gotcha. L.A., it's fucking dope, man. Because you sick. take the top off. Yeah, it's cool. What's the maintenance process on the cars? Who's cleaning them? Are you cleaning them on a Saturday afternoon? Do you have somebody that come in? Nobody and comes. It? You take, take, take it somewhere. somewhere? Yeah. How do you clean a Ferrari? Yeah, I. When I mean, you can't just take the that Ferrari to the car wash. Porsche, I clean myself, and then the other cars we have a, a service. If it depends. If if I'm not as busy, I'll clean all of them. I love washing cars. I grew up washing cars. I okay. love doing it. But if it's busy, we have a guy comes. All right. But he, mm. he doesn't touch the other cars. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Man, that's pretty classy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever microwaved bacon? Oh yeah, yeah. is that your go-to? <laughs> uh, What's your preferred method of cooking bacon? Uh, in in the frying pan, like a goddamn gentleman. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, some yeah. sense to this guy. But my mom would. We grew up on microwave bacon. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Disappointing. It's good it's the stuff. Worst way. Oh, this, he this, does it it's exclusively. Disgusting. You have a favorite salad dressing? I mean, I don't like salads and jump poppy seed. Okay. That's a first right there. That's pretty fucking. This guy can't get a read on this that's guy. That's pretty classy. It's, that's yeah, pretty I'm a classy. weird dude. I mean, he's man. got ostriches. He's got poppy seed salad dressing. Now, when you say you only eat red meat, you're telling me that. Like, what? What? What would be a typical dinner if you were home at the house? Uh, I'll usually grill or order uh, from Postmates, but I'll grill like a, a fillet or a T-bone or something. Okay, and it, just that. It, just that. What I'll kind of grill are we talking? What do you got? What's the grill? You got setup? Traeger. Uh, you know, it's a Viking grill. Yeah. It's all right. By the pool. Yeah. yeah. Now the place. Is, did, it, is it built in? Is there like. It's the, built in. It's built like there's the, the hard Holy rock around shit. it. shit. Mm-hmm. My brother's got Damn. that. It's pretty classy. It's pretty classy. Did you yeah. build this house or did you guys buy it? It was already, it was already there. Bought it, made some uh, upgrades to it. He nice. Has a full basketball court, like full size basketball court. Sweet. In it or outside? Uh, in the backyard. Okay, I thought nice. I say inside. My mind was gonna be no. blown. No, I'm not Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that. Can well. we be best friends? Yeah. <laughs> There's also cracks on the court. Yeah, don't get twisted. I want my kids to be somewhat humble. And it's know? a chain net. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't forget where you fucking yeah. came from. My son's like, Dad, we have chain nets. <laughs> yeah. like, Holy it's like fucking cow. Rucker Park. All right. Uh, hmm. In the kitchen, mm-hmm. is it a, what, what's the fridge? Sub Z, Viking? What do you Sub-Z, stainless steel? Everything's Viking, yeah. Stainless steel. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Okay. It's all right. Hmm. Washer and dryer in the house? <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> if it came with a basketball court, not a washer and dryer, I'd be fucking furious. There's no bathroom. You don't yeah. realize until it's like the first time yeah. to do laundry. You like, got the, the polo fuck? field right out yeah. there. Huh. All right. His well, and her sinks in the bathroom and you're, mm-hmm. your you He's got a bath- fucking basketball court. Yeah. yeah, he's got his and her sinks. You fucking idiot. I show the man some goddamn respect. <laughs> they got a walk-in closet too, I guess. Oh, yeah, you Do closet. you? Yeah. <laughs> he's probably got a closet for watches. This fucking guy. Do you have a lot of watches? You, know, you have windows? <laughs> <laughs> you see out the windows, right? 
<laughs> Show the man some goddamn respect, will you? Damn, that's mm. awesome. The hacky sack thing. Too. <laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> I keep going back to it. Um, Who cuts the grass? You cutting the grass yourself? You got a landscaper. Landscaper. Nice. Hmm. But I enjoy cutting grass. Nothing makes... Nothing gives me like throwback memories and like fresh cut grass. Do you have the mower there too? You have your own I'm mower. Own mower, yeah. Ooh, that's nice. What kind? You got a Toro? What are you rocking? Do you know? Oh man, whatever Ferrari, home, whatever Home Depot sells. Yeah, I think okay. Lamborghini made. How to get on a list to get it though? <laughs> you six, can't just buy it's one. It's a six-year waiting list. It's a riding mower <laughs> with a V12. Yeah, uh, made by Lamborghini. Uh, cut the grass in two minutes. Yeah. It's awesome. It's a it's a Bentley. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Will you sneak snacks into the movie theater? No, I buy them. You buy them. I grew up sneaking snacks. Yeah, yeah. You still go to the you go to the grocery store where you go and yeah. you get the order oh, yeah. for the week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You hook the kids up with the snacks they like and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, because I grew up on sugar, and I know, especially where I live in Calabasas, it's like, you Ooh, know, that's where par- you live. Yeah, the parents are worried about like sugar and shit. But listen, I grew up on sugar. Yeah. Clearly, have an issue with it because I won't get my cavities fixed. But sure. Yeah, I turned out all right. Yeah, you, well, you're killing <laughs> it. What are you talking about? After talking about this podcast, I got some major issues. <laughs> yeah. My There's ther- some shit you got to go back and yeah, dig into, yeah, but, yeah, you know, all in all, you're doing yeah, all right for yourself. My therapist, I'm like, Jesus Christ, yeah. dude. Yeah. You sleep with your socks on? No. No, no. No, no. <laughs> that would be insane what? if you did. Insane. Yeah, we're just checking. I don't know. No, he no. almost hit you, dude. No, no. <laughs> my socks That's on? That's crazy, yeah. dude. Why would you Do you have sex with your socks on? No. Oh, that's huh. funny. Hmm. Do you own any boot cut jeans? Absolutely not. Okay. Did you ever own any Ed Hardy stuff? Yes. I had one Ed Hardy shirt. Just one, huh? Yeah, just one. Really? What's the suit situation at the house? Probably pretty proper. The suit? Because uh, I, I used to work for a Bravo Nice, so I used to have to host the, Gram- yeah, you, the you Grammys do a lot of and the Oscars. Stuff, yeah. And so they'd make me all these tailored suits. Damn. I didn't have to pay for them, though. Don't get twisted. Sure. That's still yeah. cool, though. It's cool if you... I guess if I have an event to go to, which I don't, but <laughs> I've, I'll, I'll look pretty cool if I do. Do you know how to tie a tie, I yeah. presume? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bow tie? You tie a bow tie? No, no, no. Those no, are so... No, I no. can't wrap my fucking... Every wedding I go to, I try. It's I like a Rubik's it. Cube. Bow it's tie. Yeah. It's insane, dude. Um, mm. How do you sleep? How many pillows do you use when you sleep? When you oh, actually I need go to sleep? I, minimum three pillows. How do you do it? Behind the head? Back? One behind the head, one over the eyes, hugging the other. Nice. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, this kid's sleep on my side. He's a loose cannon. If you're yeah. a pillow hugger, you got issues. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm one myself. It's, it's more anxiety. Than oh, anything. yeah. My anxiety is through the roof, fellas. Yeah. Well, booze helps with that. Mm. Will you pee in the shower? Oh, yeah. Brush Listen, your teeth in there? Oh, yeah. I'll do everything all, all at once in the shower. I'll pee in the shower. But I also, my, and it's a bad example for my son, but I'll get out of the car. I got to pee. I'll piss right in our fucking yard, dude. I'll pee wherever. Really? Yeah. Uh, there's something about peeing outside. I peeing outside good, in But your no backyard. one can see it. Dude. It's not like the neighbors can see you, right? Yeah. I mean, I was in Venice the other day, and I had to pee so bad. And I had to do this photo shoot, and I just pissed, dude. That's a little wild. Like right behind yeah. Groundworks Coffee on Main Street. <laughs> and some guy walked by, but there's appreciate so many the bugs. Plugs. There's so many bums. Yeah. You're like, I'm, I'm doing you guys a favor. You're lucky yeah. you're getting a look at a real one, yeah. not one of these homeless wieners it's out better here. better than shit. Be cool, yeah. man. Huh. But I, there's something about peeing outside. I it's feel liberating. like a hell's angel. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. It feels, it feels dicey. It's really cool. What's the soap situation? Using a bar? Using uh, something fancy? A gel? What do you got? I don't trust uh, the three-in-one shampoo, body no, wash, and conditioner. All. It's all shampoo. Okay. It's, in, yeah. it's insane. Uh, I forget my, the, 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 it smells good. It's like a body wash, and I use a separate shampoo, but okay. it's like a, a body wash. You can use it to, like, clean your tables, too. You know what I'm talking about? No. No. It's, it looks all weird. Pledge? It's super old school. Oh, super I don't know school. it. Yeah. Hmm. It sounds like you're taking a shower with spick and span, to be honest with you. Yeah. Ba- basically. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what <laughs> that is. That's my favorite, though. You can clean the wood with it. Though. Yeah, dude, you, get, you, yeah, you can mop your floors <laughs> with it, brush your teeth. What is that, pledge? Yeah. Gets paint off walls. Hmm. Uh, have you ever worn a Kangol hat? Listen, man. <laughs> hey, hey, he fellas, really I love you guys. Off. I love you guys. You guys seem like good guys. You guys are my favorite. But Listen. knock it the fuck off. The hacky sack, strike one. The socks, strike two. The Kangol hat? No, I don't I'm have feeling one. It out. I don't see have where, one. See where we stand. Next question. Do, have you ever owned a FUBU shirt? <laughs> what is happening right now? Do you have a high school class ring? And if so, did you wear it? No, never got one. Okay. I, I, I had a Big 12 championship ring in college. There you go. Never That's wore it, though. My dad still has pretty it. Pretty sweet. He's yeah. holding it hostage. That's great. Did you wear your uh, Letterman jacket in high school? Yeah, hell yeah. Rolled around my, in that? My, that, was that? That was my Batman outfit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. 
Do you remember the? What, how old were you the first time you had lobster? Shit, I was not older. Older, yeah, right? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lobster. No. You like to go out to expensive dinners now? You go out to a nice dinner? Now I do, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, that, that's one thing I will do, yeah. Let's especially, do this. especially when on the road, like with my team, like mm-hmm. you really work so hard. If, if we have time, we'll go to a good dinner. Yeah, Tomahawk yeah. steaks? Eat whatever they want. Nice. Yeah. You like ever been that. to Salt Bay's place or anything like that? I've been to Salt Bay's. Yep. Really? I've been to Salt Bay's in LA. Did he come to the table and do the thing? Here's the thing about that. He's, <laughs> he, you know, he, I think he's in Miami full time. So he opened this place up. And uh, I hate to go about it. The steak was shit, dude. And it was so expensive. And the guy comes to the table and he goes, do you want a gold-plated steak? I heard, yeah. And we were talking about so, this so on So the Josh steak Potter. was covered I'm in gold. We think guy. it's whack. Dude, it was like, I don't know. The steak was, I was like 1100 bucks. I go, why would I want fucking gold? Gold, Yeah, no you. shit. Get the fuck out of here. All right. You mean foil, motherfucker? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't gold aluminum foil. And here's the thing. I hate, like, attention. If I'm not on stage, I, I don't want any attention. Oh, yeah. I, I do not want the attention. I want to be invisible most yeah. of the time. Yeah. So this place is, like, such a scene, which I hate. So I'm already on edge. I'm there with my wife and... Her, her friends, it's actually my son's best friend's parents who, who we love. But we're all there. And when you order a steak, it's like, you know when you do Red Robin's your birthday and you go, whose birthday? Hey, hey. Uh, Whenever you're a steak, they do it yeah. for everybody. So this fucking guy, this like fake salt bay comes to the table with salt, dude. Like a huge thing of salt. <laughs> and he throws it on the steak and it goes everywhere. All, I'm like, what in the fuck? fuck and then he guy. cuts it and they're filming it. Of course, there's some fucking dweeb there filming it mm-hmm. and then he goes to feed I go, it's not happening yeah I, what are we doing I can't, I can't be on camera having no, another I'm, man I'm not feed gonna, me I'm not gonna deep throat this tomahawk <laughs> dude what are you trying to that's do that's crazy man? they do that shit all the time I don't get that yeah I'm not that's their thing man. oh I asked him I went hey dude if I come here again can I pay you not to do this yes. yeah. can you just give me my food that's insane yeah, it's a this, spectacle yeah, is it Chuck E. Cheese dude what are we <laughs> doing here um, all right, I got one for you. Say we're speaking of restaurants are big here, going out to dinner, especially now that we're making a couple of bucks. We, you know, you guys are balling. We're trying, we're, 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 we're trying to figure don't it make out. We feel like I'm the only one selling tickets. No, oh, no, no. We're, we've had an amazing year. But like, let's say you know you were just with uh, Schultz, you say, or yes. you know even Chrissy D. Say, mm-hmm. say you and Schultz go out to dinner, right? Yes. Just you two. Checks. How's that check being handled? I'll, I'll pay for it every time. Yeah. yeah every time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, will you, no, will no you sneak, split another check? No, never. Will you sneak never. away? Because you know he's going to also want to <laughs> As pay. soon as the waiter comes, like if it's around, like, and I can tell he's done, I'll just give him my card. Don't even look at the check. That's real yeah. classy right mm-hmm. there. I always pay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I never expect anybody to pay. That's if you I'm get about. to a place and you sit down, will you change tables? Never. Like, never. No, I'll just take it. Yeah. yeah. It could be the shittiest seat in the house. Mm-hmm. I'll just take it. You call it, you have your manager or somebody call ahead and say, hey, we want a private room or something like that, or you just roll in? I the only time I ever had to flex like that, which is the biggest asshole move, was is my girl's birthday in her favorite restaurant. This is actually last Saturday. They were like booked for three months, and that's the only time I hit up my manager like, dude, you got to figure something. You got to call in a favor. Nice. Come on, you got to, you, know, you got to do it. It's your girl's Aren't birthday, it, baby. What are you kidding me? But bro, this is in Hollywood, and they're robbing people down there and shit. So I'm stressed out. My anxiety's insane, fellas. So I'm I'm on. You tried to take the Bronco to that one. Yeah, you know? we <laughs> drove. Don't pull up in the fucking. No, my Ferrari. girl wanted to drive the Ferrari. I'm like, hey, you're fucking you're up. Gonna fucking do you target on my. Do you not see the news? I know you watch Telemundo. I'd see it on Telemundo. It's all over. She's Mexican. Mm-hmm. So uh, we pull up there. My anxiety's through the fucking roof. The security guy comes out, and he's like, you know, big fan, man. Blah. And so I'm like, oh, this guy likes oh, my comedy, right? And he's taking us up there, and he's like, if I can do anything. I loved know? you on the bills. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> when, he goes, you know, he's like, huge fan, man. We got you. you know, when's the next fight? <sighs> it's about to be right now, dickhead. <laughs> About to tune you up for the appetite. You're insulting us. Hey, bitch, I do six shows a week yeah. on pocket. <sighs> no, yeah, that's tough. Well, yeah, you take. And here's the thing: I, 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 you know, I wanted to tip him because he took care of us, got, got us to see everything. And I only had this isn't a flex. Brogan paid me for doing his show. Flex. We Rogan want you to flex. Pays, you know, pays. I only had a million dollar bill on me. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I only had I only had hundreds on me. So I go, hey man, I, I appreciate it. And I was like. Oh, yeah. Uh, have a good day. It's already out. You don't have change. Yeah. Do you? yeah. <laughs> Make it a five back. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah. What is the yeah. tip situation? I imagine it's probably usually pretty hefty. <laughs> you throw down? I'll throw down. And uh, like if I do the sets at the comedy store, Laugh Factor, Improv, any cash they give me, I always give to the door guys. Door guys, yeah. Yeah. I've never take, 
I've never took payment in L.A. for shows. Yeah, ever. that's good. That's when insane. I very first started, when I need the money at that time, I'd always give it to the door guys or mm-hmm. uh, up and coming comics. Yeah, you got to take care of those door guys at the clubs for sure. Yeah, I mean, you got to a complete you asshole if you don't. Yeah. Well, you take leftovers home from the restaurant. Very rare. Because mm. I, I mean, listen, dude. You I, eat it. I eat it. Yeah. If yeah. you don't like it, I'm not eating it. I'm not taking it home. Yeah, Even dude, if I don't like it, I'm eating yeah, it. Like on my special, the Green Girl Poppy. You know, I, I was shot in October, man. At the time I was 270 pounds. Like I get big if I yeah. don't watch it. Now I'm like 245 on the carnival. You look good. You're trim. Yeah. Look great. But on that Green Girl Poppy, it is all thick. <laughs> He's up there sweating, yeah, baby. I had to edit that thing myself. <laughs> like, oh, dude, watching well, or listening to yourself. Dude, how come sucks. somebody was like, hey, hey, bro, do you want? You think you want to lose some weight in the I face? Know. Yeah. I look fucking awful, dude. Mm-hmm. It's tough. Yeah. Hmm. I was sweating nonstop. Do you have yeah. a preferred Eggs Benedict? Do you like Eggs Benedict? Nah, not for me. Really? Nah. What's your normal breakfast? If you're going out to breakfast. I fast. I like, like I said, I haven't eaten a single thing today, and it is 7.30 here. I usually fast. So I do yeah. all my shows in the morning, so I fast. I'll, I'll, again, I have eight shots of espresso. I'll have two <laughs> coffees before I leave the house, then Jeez. get eight shots of espresso. Then I'll have like a rain energy drink while I do the podcast. I'm telling you, enjoy, enjoy the company, fellas. I have Holy four shit, years of dude. this shit. Dude, so I'm going to die wild. any second. But uh, I usually don't eat till about 2 o'clock. So I haven't had breakfast. I don't know how long. Okay. Damn. Bro, you have weaponized anxiety. Too. <laughs> yeah. Know, yeah. Man. yeah, my anxiety is insane. You're charging it up every morning. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's sick, honestly. It's fucking yeah. working, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. You keep any magazines in the bathroom? Uh, I always bring, I, I do have a, uh, membership to, I like old school shit. So like, I don't subscribe to social media. I have it. I post and ghost. You know, I'm sure you've had people on go, I post and ghost. I haven't seen a comment or anything in probably three to four years. Okay. I don't see anything. My fucking Good guy. Stuff. Let's go. That's I, it. You gotta I, detach, I don't subscribe baby. to that stuff, but I do like, I, you know, doing what I do, I always have something to talk about and have opinion on it. So I have all the newspapers and magazines. So really? I'll bring that into the bathroom, but I don't have them in the bathroom. They I'll all get delivered in. to the house, all the papers yeah. and stuff? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Not too bad. It's all right. Do you snore? <sighs> I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> look, look at me. Yeah. And, and I had nose surgery, too. I had, uh, when I was a UFC fighter, I had my nose shattered by Mirko Krokop mm-hmm. through an elbow, and it shattered my nose in like 70 different places, so they had to go up there and fix it, give me a nose job. Still can't breathe. I'm a little overweight, let's be fair, so I'm sure I snore. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. I feel like a breathe right strip might help. Okay. Yeah. I tried them. They don't work for me. I'm, I I breathe, I'm a mouth breather, though. Me too. And so it's me, like. It my mouth is always dry. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is the oh. first water I've had in years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have any espresso? What's yeah. going on? Uh, dude, I'm, I drink 12 Diet Cokes. 12 Diet Cokes a day. I'm a big DC guy myself. Yeah, I can't get enough. I think we're best friends. You, me, and Trump, buddy. Because <laughs> he's in good shape. Yeah. Uh, have you ever owned a butterfly knife? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Numchucks, Chinese stars, all you shit it, when man. you were a My kid. Uncle Charlie would buy it for me. Yeah. Uncle buy it from Charlie, the for wow. sure. We, Uncle Charlie would buy it. He's a truck driver. Full sleeve tattoos. That's why I have tattoos. Grandpa mm-hmm. had full sleeves. He has full sleeves. Your grandpa had full sleeves? Full sleeves. Damn, that's wow, a trendsetter. Right generational there. dirt yeah, bag. Dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This runs deep. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I want to wash you. Yeah. <laughs> They're both truck drivers, hardcore dudes, military. My entire family's military. But back to the butter knives, he would, uh, uh, if you remember back in the day, the magazines would have them. You could call. Yeah. I don't know why the worst customer service in the world, it would take 12 weeks to arrive. Sure, yeah. You would order I, stuff I would out forget, of a chart. Yeah. I would forget, dude. Yeah. I'm forgetting to show. I'm like, oh shit! When we order fucking brass knuckles, <laughs> I'm 11. Hey, keep it, <laughs> yeah. keep it out of your brother's hands. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, don't huh. let my brother get hold of these. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> you have, Uncle Charlie, do you have any other? Anyone in your family who call by not their name? By not like a, you know. Oh, yeah. It's a British thing. So, uh, Aunt Nubby. Aunt Nubby? <laughs> <laughs> they would call her Nub. Nubster. Did she have hands? Yeah. <laughs> she Aunt Nubby's great, dude. That'd be offensive if she <laughs> didn't. Aunt man. Nubby. She was, she was, is fantastic. She was almost the mom to us. Like She was the one that watched us baby sis when mm-hmm. I was a kid. Would buy us Burger King every day. <sighs> Shout out to Nubby. She didn't have the money to buy his Burger King. Would hmm. Burger King be your preferred fast food? All day. Dude, I'll argue anybody in here. Dude, a Whopper with cheese and ketchup only? Name a better fucking fast food burger, Daddy. I think cheese. we're about to get into it, boys. What do you got? <laughs> big, man, big man's a McDonald's guy. What, what do you do? What, what do you, 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 what are you, a quarter pounder fan? 
a he's royale an with cheese. What are you, like quarter patties, fatty? Huh? What do you, <laughs> what, do you come out with the Big Mac? Yeah. What do you got, man? I have a lot of respect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. I have a lot of respect for the Whopper. How could you a not? lot of respect. Yeah. Got to. But I, mine, mine would always 100% come with a lot of mayonnaise. Are you not a mayonnaise guy? No, sir. At all. At all. Hate it. Re- hate, hate it. Hate it. Disgusting. I'm a big horseradish guy. Whoa. But but like real fucking spicy horseradish. Just like, straight? Like not like in a cream sauce or something? Uh, Just... If you put, you know, so you make cocktail sauce with uh, ketchup and uh, cocktail. 100%. So I put the most horseradish. Me too. Can. I love it. I, I like mm. it to burn the senses. Will you do. Make me feel alive. Will you do oysters? You like oysters on the half show? Yeah. Guys to the yeah. max nice. on everything. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, man. everything's so intense, man. <laughs> 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 Try a cup of decaf. Will you? <laughs> You're right, man. Holy shit. That might be where the anxiety's shit. coming from, yeah. Brendan. Yeah. I love it, though. The nicotine helps as well with the anxiety, yeah. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, I'm gonna chain smoke. Your anxiety gives me, gets my anxiety going. I'm uh, all dude, charged. I, I up went now. to Mexico. I didn't sleep a fucking wink because I read all the news. I get all those papers, and they're trying to scare you with cartel and kidnappings. Mm-hmm. So my girl's like, "Go to bed." I'm like, "I can't. I can't." Someone's got to be on the yeah. lookout. Yeah. I, yeah. I was like, "Who's gonna watch the fucking kids?" And also, kidnappings are through the roof. She's like. Who the fuck's kidnapping your big? Yeah, ass? no shit. Yeah. Who's coming in? Also, yeah, I'd be like I mean, robbing Batman's house. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, drive out to a waterfall or something. Huh? I got a couple more here, but I think I'm. What do you pro- got, man? <sighs> I mean, I could do this all night. By the way, I hmm. love you guys. have you ever owned cargo sweatpants? Yes, in high school. Yeah, they from, were they from were Abercrombie. Hot then, yeah. Before I knew they were racist. If you watch that, that was a wild documentary. How do you feel about surprise parties? Hate them. <laughs> I'd imagine. Lights off, people jumping out and scaring you. Yeah. That's how I, that's that how I killed up. Nana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My CT flares up, man. I don't like that. Uh, have you ever had a manicure? No. Okay. I've had a pedicure on my foot because I had an ingrown toenail. Uh, that's that's and, medicinal. And the Asian girl kept going, oh, you, you big, big feet, big feet. What size shoe you rocking? 13. Ooh. 13 wide. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Do you have name brand luggage? Uh, is a way name? Yeah. yeah, that's probably. Was it a sponsor at some point or no? No. Oh, okay. I got Showtime. That when I, I used to work for Showtime, I left them, started my own company, but I used to work for Showtime for five years, and they would for uh, Christmas send me luggage that said Showtime on it. There you go. Pretty. Classy. And that's what you're using. Yeah. So you're you're currently using branded free luggage. Yeah. It's trashy. Ever Super have an trendy. earring? Yeah. Never. No earrings. Never. No earrings. All right. And if you had pizza, I know you keep it tight. But if you had pizza, do you eat your crust or not eat the crust? I definitely eat the crust. I don't okay. eat the crust. All right. I'll get a side of marinara and dip it in the fucking, yeah. Okay. So it becomes a bread. Steak. That checks out. And my, my favorite right. pizza in New York is uh, Prince. Prince Street Prince, Pizza. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. good. It's good. Now, you I'm guys a Joe's gonna, man, typically. You guys are going to hate me for this, but you're not from New York, so be cool. But, uh, <laughs> hey, man, first whatever of all, you say. <laughs> yeah, nobody hates you. <laughs> <laughs> you're among friends here. Yeah. I hey, mean, keep running this. We invited you Everybody here. hates you, <laughs> We love you. <laughs> We're having a nice time. Yeah. Take it easy, man. Everyone I just said cool, Wendy's man. was yeah. a little better. Yeah. That's all I said, man. I just said I prefer the I, milkshakes and Shake Shack. <laughs> I just said the best Western's be- slightly yeah. better, man. Be cool. <laughs> Say Motel 6, pussy. Say Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, Are you a sunglass man? I like some. Here's the thing about sunglasses. I had uh, LASIK uh, vision correction. Uh huh. One of the side effects is your eyes are super sensitive to, to light. So you got so it. So I do a show called Food Truck Diaries, and it's outside. People are like, oh, you think you're fucking Nicolas Cage with sunglasses all the uh. time? No. I can't see in the light, so I have to have sunglasses on. Hmm. And at night, one of the bad things, too, you got to get corrected at night. Everything's kind of blurry, so... It, I just figure there's fog all the time in L.A. Damn. I didn't know there's not fog. <laughs> this guy's driving in a fucking smoke storm. Yeah, yeah at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> in a fucking on, Ferrari. Yeah, anxiety, yeah. Ferrari, and eight shots of espresso. <laughs> on 15 lattes. Uh, Jeez. Huh. Playing the instruments. No. Hmm. I didn't like the I way wish. you said that. I wish. Anyone in your family ever represent themselves in court? <laughs> <laughs> I've been saving that one for like six months, dude. <laughs> uh, no, oh absolutely God. not, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh. 
<laughs> Can you whistle? Yeah. Can you whistle with your fingers? No, I wish I could. Can uh, you wink both eyes? Uh, oh, like this? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, double jointed? Anything like that? Nah, I wish. Mm. I, I feel like it was cool. And, uh, it was cool. Like could, elementary, you could flex. Like, yeah, yeah. Do a hand flat, yeah you're like, holy shit. Dude. It was hot. You're yeah. an X Men. Yeah. Hmm. Can you name any of the guys from Pawn Stars? Oh, I watch that show when it's from time to time. I always want to buy stuff. On I know. That. Right? I'd like to go in and buy, but like, can I have that samurai sword I, <laughs> for man, seventeen grand? Trash. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. Can I have that sword? He's watching. <laughs> yeah, pawn stores and going. I'll get that fucking samurai <laughs> yeah. sword in the back. I'm like signed yeah. by Elvis. Yeah. I could use that Civil yeah. War cannon. I'm like man, that'd be <laughs> Robert De Niro eight by ten signed would be sick in my house. <laughs> you have a man cave at the house. Uh, the yeah, it sounds like I'm bright. We have a theater. It came with a movie theater. So all, yeah. all my comedy stuff, like pictures at the store and the improv, yeah, and he, it's yeah. all framed and like my special posters are there. That's then, great. Then you know my uh, heroes are like Jim Carrey and Adam Sandler. Mm -hmm. So I have cool paintings of Adam Sandler and Jim Carrey. Nice. Awesome. Do you have yeah. any paintings of yourself in the house? No, sir. Okay. Uh, my girl might have some in the garage for my fight days. Okay. That's yeah. yeah that's that's really cool. You walk in the house, you won't know I fought. Like I put all that stuff in the garage. No really? trophies or anything like that laying Nothing. around. Uh uh. Okay. All right. They don't give trophies. It's pretty good. He's a real yeah, it's interesting. Not, it's not little league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's belt, you fucking idiot. <laughs> trophies. Yeah. Uh, here's uh, your medal, Brendan. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? No, there's no trophies. <laughs> hey, my name yeah. fell off. What's <laughs> going on here? Just my fourth grade pop Warner trophy. Yeah. Man. I'm pretty proud hmm. of that. He's an interesting mix. Tell you that. I, I mean, I, I have, I'm, I'm ready to render my I, I, And we I mean, better be on the same page. He's tape. trash. Okay, yes, of right. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are trash. trash. I'll yeah, you, you had a big bird, and you didn't know what kind <laughs> it was, and you kept it in the closet. You would do Dine and Dash with your mom. Yeah. I mean, you wore spikes to class. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. But you're put together. I'm sure the house is probably spotless all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. You keep everything Not tight. Me. Yeah. Not because of me. No, you I, do I, everything nice. Yeah. You're doing well. It's great. You're Killing all fucking it. hard work. It's yeah, I, fucking, I fucking I love, love it. it. Yeah, it's great. But yeah, you're garbage. You're Case you're 100 percent dirt bag. How many people have you had? <laughs> you on have an there? aunt Nubby. I, I mean, <laughs> what are we doing? Here? Yeah, and an uncle Char. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, oh, buddy. And a hamster named Eddie. So, oh yeah. yeah, I forgot yeah. about Eddie the Eddie, <laughs> yeah. Eddie the hamster. Yeah, McGregor cleats. I think that's where it went south. For yeah, me. you didn't yeah. start. Yeah, you weren't starting off strong. No. Man, if I was in elementary school and saw a kid walk in with cleats, I don't know. I'd think I'd move schools or yeah. something. Yeah, Jesus that's Christ. Wild. Yeah, set some records, fellas. Brendan Schaub, everybody. Man, I mean, Home how, run. how many people have you had on here that aren't trash? That's Is that's kind of a load of quite your story was insane. Yeah, that's a proper wild. That's a wild one. That's, yeah. yeah. Really? I mean, we've definitely had wild stories, but like front to back. I mean, just from like the stories as a childhood, then you've you're an accomplished fighter, you walked onto the fucking bills, you're a successful podcaster and stand up comedian. Like you've re I mean, you're like the Forrest Gump of fucking, you know, entertainment. Yeah. It's crazy. Same IQ. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what's crazy, man. <laughs> this whole career is make a wish. Yeah. Thank Love you guys, so man. Much, Go watch the special. Go watch the special. Anything else you want to let the folks out there know? Special, the Gringo Poppy. It's on uh, my own YouTube. Thick Boy uh, YouTube is the channel. It's on there now. It's all shot, edited. Everything's my team. We all did everything Love ourselves. It. Fucking the way to go is fucking kill it. Fuck all these pussies. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Do it yourself, baby. And Flex I'll, on these I'll be in uh, Charlotte this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the Comedy Zone. And then uh, Philly is after that. The Philly, heat. go out yeah. and see Philly, the fucking kid. go see him, man. Take Absolutely it at thickboy.com. Check it out. Kippy, what do you got for him? Same thing. Check us out on the road. Thanks for listening. We fucking appreciate everything. What an episode, buddy. We love you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are the best, man. Appreciate we love it, you. Man. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.